guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we have a very special video, guys. Uh, it's not a happy one. Unfortunately, uh, I'm making a candle uh, for my dog Milo. My dog Milo is sick with cancer. Um, um, I'm, I'm afraid that he's not gonna be with us much longer. So I want to make a candle uh, in his memory. You know, I just want to capture his essence, his life. And here it is. You know, so I use two different uh, fragrance oils. So if you want to see how I came up with this uh, formula, keep on watching. You know, it's been eight and a half years and they went like this. Um, but they, they've given us wonderful times together. A lot of love, you know. Um, uh, he's always been very uh, kind of weakish, uh, kind of weak, you know. Uh, when it comes to, he, he's gotten sick almost every year, you know, gastroenteritis, you know. And he's a kind of dog that he gets sick and he just like, he just, uh, he's not strong. Sasha, on the other hand, it, she's, she can be sick, but she has her energy. She has her, you can see, see she has the, um, the drive to thrive, you know, through the illness, you know, and she's been to, through, uh, different operations. Uh, but it's, it's like, it's like humans. We are all different. So, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at throughout all my, uh, fragrance oils and I'm just going to think about what will be a good match. You know, through the years, I've nicknamed him, I've given a, a few nicknames, you know. Um, my favorite one is uh, Milo Pachanga, the Pachanga boy, because he likes to dance, you know. When I, when he pulls uh, his paws up and he says, oh, Pachanga, Pachanga, Pachanga game, Pachanga dance, you know. And he likes to, you know, he loved that for me, you know. So, um, yeah. So, uh, the first thought that came to mind was Kai23 from 1617.com. This one here, because I want something that with a with an impact, you know. I don't want anything weak. I I, I think my, uh, Milo made such a huge impact in 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 our lives that I want something that has presence. And I think I twenty three. I think that is my favorite fragrance from sixteen seventeen dot com so far. Oh my God, this, this is it. Uh, it has the energy. It has the boldness. It has um, the wickedness scent. You smell. It. I just want something simple, and I don't want to start mixing because this is gonna be. I'm gonna name this candle Milo. So whenever I go in, set my candle line. Uh, this is gonna be Milo, the candle. This is beautiful. Okay, this is container number one. Okay. I definitely want to use uh, Nak Shampa. Uh, Nak Shampa from Stone Candles. Uh, to me, this is very spiritual, you know, it has, it wakes, it's like, it's, it's like, um, very spiritual, you know. It's like connect my soul with my with my uh, present being. So let me just make a sample of Nak Shampa because I want to connect the spirit with the human being or with the pet, or whatever it is. You know, I just I just want to have that combination that transcends from one world to the other, and that for me uh, is Milo Nak Shampa. Oh my god. This is it. Okay. Okay. This is my look. Look how beautiful it is. It's amazing. This is from 1617.com, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Doesn't get any more beautiful than this. Beautiful. Uh, when we were getting the puppies, 
Um, I asked my husband, no one name would like the boy to be named. And he picked Milo because Milo is, uh, uh, his color is chocolate. It's like chocolate brown. And there's a, a, a very popular chocolate drink in Australia. It's called Milo, chocolate milk. So that's why uh, we decided to name it like that. And I picked the name Sasha because it just came to mind. It rhymes with Milo. Milo and Sasha, Milo and Sasha, Sasha and Milo. I like the way they, they went together, you know? They, so that's why. Okay. Calle 23, it reminds me of Pachanga Dance because this is about Cuba. The, the, the history of this oil is like, according to uh, 1617, it's like, it reminds you of a Cuban uh, party, a nightclub, whatever, in someplace fun. And that's why I want to remember uh, Milo like that, like someone fun, you know? It's like always happy. He was always happy, you know? So that's the memory because we need to take, remember guys, it's good to don't sit and just dwell on the, oh my God, he died, whatever it is. I celebrate his life. You know, buy something that, get something for him that celebrates his life, you know, and this gonna, I'm gonna celebrate his life with this. You know what, I'm gonna make it half equal part. Because I wanna celebrate his life with this candle. To me, he's never gonna be, he's always gonna be with me like my other dogs. Okay, I need another. You see guys? Should I pick three, three weeks, not two. I'm not here today. I just wanna be able to light it up tomorrow. Even though if it's not cured. I just wanna, I just want him to smell it, you know? And uh, the one thing that I wanna tell you guys is like, uh, uh, my husband and I have decided that when Milo goes, uh, we're gonna have an at-home euthanasia. Uh, they come to your house. Uh, they do everything very uh, tactfully. I wanna have all the pets gather with us. And I want Milo to feel in comfort, I don't want him to feel freaked out like in the past when we took our pets, unfortunately, to get unionized, and uh, they didn't have any, any kind of facilities like that in, in New York that we knew of. So we took him to the vet, and that's they had a nice room, very peaceful room, you know, and with a candle. So I want to have this candle ready. So when Milo goes, uh, it goes with the essence of this beautiful candle. I'm putting a triple wick of CDN force. Again, I'm gonna use Equal Parts Kaya 23 and Nakshampa, which are my two favorite oils from each company. Nakshampa is my favorite oil from Stone Candles. And uh, Kaya 23 is my favorite one from 1617.com. He's hardly eating. I mean, he's not eating anything really. I gave him a, with a, like an, an injection thing. Uh, I gave him some baby food. And he ate a little bit of a uh, I am uh, kibble for cats. So he's not even he's not even eating the chicken breast anymore that he loved so much yesterday. So that tells you, you know, it's it's a sign. Mm -hmm. You have to go with it. You cannot go with what I want. I want to go with what they want and what you think is best for them. Okay, perfect. We gave him the best life, really. So anyone can give any pet. We're very lucky. Very lucky. They were not, they did not stay long, long in, in Brooklyn because by the time we left, I mean, they were almost a year when they, when, when they left Brooklyn. They were almost a year old. I never forget when I took Milo to a uh, puppy kindergarten, you know, and everybody fell in love with him right away. He was running around, playing with all the dogs, you know, he was such a pleasure, you know. It's so playful with all the dogs, you know, and everybody loved him and, you know, he was... 
it's the kind of breeds. It's like a toy, you know, it's like a, the face is like human. And so you fall in love immediately with him. Okay, let's go outside and let's get the, uh, the wax going, okay? Baby, sit up, guys. The wax is melting. I'm gonna use this spatula and I'm gonna use, uh, I need a bigger pot, let me just get it. So I'm gonna need this one here because it's, it's a lot of wax. I should have enough in there. You know, but let me just get this warm up with the heat gun. It's baby. He's not feeling well, guys. My little baby, I'm making you candle in here. So we can remember you. When you go to Rainbow Heaven, Rainbow Bridge, whatever they call it. No more pain for you, okay, baby? We love you so much. He looks at his eyes. How beautiful face he has. Okay, I'm gonna put him back in bed. Say bye bye. Bye bye. So all the pets, they know that there's something going on. Pets are very smart, you know? Uh, they know that there's something going on and they are giving Milo his pace because they know, you know? Pets are very smart. Especially the cats, like Jose stays upstairs. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hold on in a few seconds. Okay. It went up to, to 44, so I'm letting it cool down. I'm, I'm staying away from doing live streams, guys, because I don't want to start uh, crying in front of you guys. You know, it's, I know the worst is, is yet to come. I'm, I'm just going to put this video up for the weekend, you know, and just... Okay, perfect. 220. And as I put the oil, it's going to drop dramatically uh, in temperature. And you have to really stir this a lot because it's a lot of wax. At least for 30 seconds. I mean, they say that you don't have to, but I will. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm gonna get a piece of paper towel because I know this can get messy. This this picture is really messy. When you pour, let me just clean this first. Put it aside and let me pour. I don't want to pour hotter than this because I'm afraid of the uh, the glue dots dislodging from the bottom of the candles and I don't want the wicks, you know, coming up. Okay guys, let me just go clean up and we have back. Hi guys, welcome back. So let me do a quick recap of what we did today, guys. So as you know, today is a very special uh, day for me. Uh, I'm making a candle uh, to remember my dog and Milo. Uh, Milo is my uh, Havanese dog that it's, uh, he's eight, uh, eight and a half years. Uh, Eight and, a half, yeah, eight, eight and a half years old and he was diagnosed with that carcinoma of, of the kidney and tomorrow we're gonna go see the surgeon but uh, it doesn't look good so we don't want him to suffer so what we're doing is uh, we want to uh, just let him go in peace you know and just I just want him, I just don't, we don't want him to, to be uh, in pain.